Well, something similar happens when uh, humanity changes from self-consciousness to cosmic consciousness. Most often, it is sudden. Now, up to a few years ago, we only had a few people that had that 100%. People like Gautama Buddha, Jesus, the Christ, Mohammed, Plotinus, Paul, one of the disciples, and quite a few other avatars. But we're talking in a period of like 2,000 years. I believe that if you go back to uh, 1350 BC in Egypt, there was a person that had cosmic consciousness. But now people are getting vestiges of this type of consciousness more often. For example, the young children, they, they call them indigo children. That's what it is. It's a new consciousness. They're getting ready for cosmic consciousness. So if you know an indigo kid, get them away from the, the negativity of this world because they're so sensitive that, that they might grow weird. So by all means, encourage them to confront the world. I'm not, I'm not saying that one should run away. But become aware of your own sensitivity. So that if something in the world bothers you, confront it. Look at it, no matter how much it hurts. But after Course 5a, after the 12 secrets, you will know how to do that. So, all the time that I had this, that first problem, I was performing in symphony orchestras, and I was performing in nightclubs, and I was performing in little concerts, classical guitar and singing. And once in a while it would hit me, and then for a week I, I was no good, I couldn't do anything, but I solved all of that. That was my first transformation. Then later on I discovered that if you have this type of problem, don't go to doctors, unless it's an emergency. I believe in doctors, in emergencies doctors are angels. And chronic things, forget it. So, when they start offering you drugs to kill the pain, the mental, psychological pain, don't take it. Because if you do, you will never confront the problem. And therefore, you will never reach spiritual freedom. So, that's a little bit about my life, and um, so now let's go to, um, again, back to path of, of hidden knowledge. So, this path of hidden knowledge, and look for the website, which is www.pathofhiddenknowledge.com. It should be out today or tomorrow, or this weekend. That's what the publisher said. And I am very happy to tell you that I finally completed the path. In other words, there is a beginning to this path and there is an ending at the end of the path. And at the end of the path, there is quite a bit of freedom. I wouldn't say 100% yet, but certainly 95% freedom. You'll never be the same again. If you disliked 
the present society, which is not easy to do, pretty messed up society, but after this transformation, you will not hate them. You will not bitch about it. You will not complain about it. You will know why there are wars, why people do what they do, why don't they want to look into themselves, why there are fears. All of these things you will understand. So you will become much softer, but not in a weak way softer in quality. You'll be able to accept others more easily and he will not complain or criticize as much. Probably not at all. So, knowing all these things of course, it's not like all of a sudden you're, you, you, everything goes right, you'll still have problems, and, but you'll handle them. You'll hand, handle them very well. So after I worked so hard to create this Course 5A, I started noticing that I was becoming different. I didn't sit down and contemplate and meditate on my navel, although I do sit down for five minutes couple of minutes here and there and be, join myself. It's a very pleasant thing to do and I recommend it very highly. But I just thought and thought and thought and wow. So I recommend this course for you. This course 5A is not available to anyone who is not a graduate of number five because number five Put your feet on the ground. You become able to handle life. And without that ability, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to handle Course 5A. However, there is a chance that you can do 5A even if you didn't graduate from Course Number 5 by speaking to me because I can tell if you can do it or not. There are very, very few people that I will give the okay. Um, so there is that chance that you can do it. All right, so where were we? This path is now complete. You can go to my own personal website, which is www g for gill g magno one word dot com slash custom three dot html it's page eight of my website and the whole path is there the whole program what how to do it in steps now some people don't do it in steps and they still get good good results but I think doing it in steps is the best thing to do so, uh, I'm not going to go through that now because you can see it on the, on the website. <clears throat> so that is what the path of hidden knowledge is. From the drag, like website really is to say, from the dregs of existence to the highest points of self that's walking that path. So, I just continued doing those videos on Road to Victory, which, as I said, is now called the Path of Hidden Knowledge, because apparently most pe people like spiritual entertainment. <laughs> I got that from Krishnamurti. He used to say, this is not spiritual entertainment. You have to think along with me. I was there with him in person. Got quite a few anecdotes about him. Um... So, most people want spiritual entertainment and the principles in the book, The Path of Hidden Knowledge, they're rather heavy, although some are very easy, actually. Um, and 
I don't want to mix those things. They're very profound, and I don't want to mix them with entertainment. <laughs> So I wasn't getting a lot of viewers, so I decided to discontinue, and I'm glad I did. Once in a while, I'll give you an update of this type. Uh, I think it's m more value in it. Now, let's see. Did I tell you everything that I wanted to tell you? That's what the path of hidden knowledge is. There are many things I could tell you, but we don't want spiritual entertainment either. <laughs> so, until we speak again, I'm going to leave you with the steps to the square deal, which you will find in the book. And those steps are, first, Implement honesty with self and reality. Because if you don't implement honesty, how can you see the lies and the good things that you have? And by the way, the big problem is lies. Our heads are full of lies. The second fact is that humans are benevolent. They're naturally good. And the third fact is, if you would do not engage in self-empowerment, you simply eliminated the lies, the benevolence would take over, and you would feel good right away. So in both in Course 5 and 5A, we use the EFT technique to eliminate a lot of those lies. So step one of the square deal is implement honesty with self and reality. Step number two is apply the, the square deal. So the step two of the square deal is Ask yourself these questions every single day of your existence. What is the purpose of life? Now, tell the truth. You never ask those questions of yourself. People don't. People are too busy working, making money. The average person just eats, sleeps, wants sex, and entertainment. <laughs> And it's fine. You can have all those things too. But that's not the reason why you're living. The reason why you're living is to find out who in hell you are or who in heaven you are. You have the choice, heaven or hell. Find out. So, first is, what is the purpose of life itself? Okay. Then, where did I come from? What am I doing on this planet? Where am I going? And then the fifth question is, what is my own personal purpose? Now, the third step of the square deal is what I call <clears throat> unburdening. <clears throat> Eliminating as much as possible some of the lies and some of the aberrations that we've had since from childhood. These aberrations come as a result of contact with the world itself the lies that we create ourselves in order to get along with others, the lies that we got from our parents, from the authorities that are educated beyond their intelligence, from the government, the laws. So we want to unburden ourselves from those lies. And we do that, I explain in the book, through EFT, through the sentence completion programs of Dr. Nathaniel Brandon, excellent material. I use those in the courses. And then the last one is discover your personal purpose in life. And once you discover that, you align it with the purpose of life itself. And what happens? <laughs> you don't even have to go to school. 
you don't t have to pay hundreds of dollars or thousands to go to seminars to learn how to make money. Everything just comes to you because inside you are all the answers. That's why I don't read books anymore. I write them, but I don't read them. Unless I'm doing some research on something, like right now I'm reading a very large book, but it's a sort of research. But the majority of books that are printed out of a thousand books, maybe there is one or two that tells you something that you can use because publishing business is a money-making business like everything in the United States. Everything is money. Now, the guy that succeeds as a person, the one that has his peace inside, is the one who does, the, who creates, not necessarily for money, although I'm not saying money is not good, money is good. In fact, it's a sin not to be uh, recompensed for, your, for what you give to others. For example, I found out, and a great man told me this also, and I found out personally that I don't give things away anymore. I used to give my autobiography as presents. I don't. The people who got them without paying never read them. So, once you align your personal purpose in life with the purpose of life itself, it's a whole different story. You don't need to read books anymore. You can figure out everything by yourself. If you do, and when you do, you gain a power, which is really incredible. You feel strong, feel peaceful. You're no longer trying to show off. You're no longer full of yourself. For example, when I was in Los Angeles studying the 12 keys that are in the book, in my book, uh, The Path of Hidden Knowledge, I was full of myself. That's why I couldn't accept the final 20% of those keys. I knew that I was smart, but I was coming on strong. <laughs> so this is all part of learning. And then when I studied those, to put it in the course, all of a sudden it's like I began to see myself more naked. It's uh, like becoming a child, except that the child has no power, and uh, the grown-up is like a child, but he has the power. In fact, he has to be careful how he implements that power, because you can read other people, you can figure out people out there, you can take advantage of people left and right. But that's the first rule in this path. The, and the only rule, you can't learn this stuff to take survival away from others. And that is how you know if something is a sin or not. It's very simple. A sin, it's a negative action, is that action which takes less life, less survival, less comfort from yourself and other human beings. That is all. There are no other sins. So that's the first rule on the path of hidden knowledge. You learn these things and you use them to help others and help yourself and help your family. And if you're a writer, you write. If you're a painter, you paint. But everything is geared towards the purpose of life. And as you gear your creations to the purpose of life, it's like going in tune with nature. It's really incredible. It's like around you there's energy. For example, I, I love to, to work with plants when I'm outside. I just, you know, I never used to do that before because most of my life was spent performing and teaching. And I notice now when I touch plants, they come to life. Not at that moment, but gradually. When I talk to my cats, even though they don't understand what I'm saying, they, they don't understand the words, 
but they look at me with those eyes and I know that they know what I'm saying. And when I'm talking to them, I'm actually projecting a picture of what I want to them. It's really amazing. So now, working outside in the garden is a whole new adventure. There's life out there. And that's part of your life. So your whole life changes that way. So those of you who are after success, make money, become a millionaire, I, eh. not because money is bad. I'm not a millionaire because I don't want to. If I wanted to be a millionaire, I would. But it takes too much time away from my research. So, it's okay to want the money. It's okay to be successful. But there's nothing like being successful as a result of what you give the world. And those people are gaining from what you create and from what you give. In that way you're contributing towards the evolution of life. Okay. Thank you for listening. And hopefully I will make another update very soon. Okay. Bye-bye.